hello everyone in today's video we will look at how you can manage your purchase cycle or purchase process in deskera books the purchase process is often referred to as the procurement cycle as well so we'll go through the various steps that you can follow in deskera books under the buy process or the purchase process you can create orders you can create bills you can generate goods receipt note you can make payments let's start with orders you see an order number, contact details, order date, due date, total amount, and whether the goods have been received or not. You also have quick actions using which you can convert an order to a bill. Let's start by creating an order. Click on create new. You see option to create a new order, bill or expense bill. Let's click on create new order. You can select a contact. So this will be your supplier. You can change the address where you want to deliver the goods. You can also edit the contact. You can change the contact or you can click on edit that will change the contact. You can add custom fields. You also have the option to add products from the previous order directly. Let's look at custom fields first. Click on custom field settings. All the custom fields that you have created are listed. The ones that you want to show on order, you can simply enable them. Let's enable cost center project click on save i'll select the cost center project let's start adding products the price of the product is auto picked up from the product master the tax is also picked up from the product master depending on the hsn code that you have specified depending on the state to which you're billing CGST or SGST is populated for the same state or if you're billing to a different state, you can see the IGST is auto populated. You can give a discount either in absolute numbers or you can give it in percentage. The discount gets calculated and it's shown at the bottom. You can see the tax details. On the three dots, you can also define custom fields for a product. You can delete the item or if there are any ITC related settings that are applicable for this purchase, you can also tag them. We'll see these details in the purchase bill section. You can attach files. You can also insert memos. These memos are nothing but the remarks that you need to enter. You can edit the order date, the due date. The order number is again in your control. You can either type it manually or you can create a new format. Let's create a new format. You can define a prefix, the separator, it can be a space, hyphen, backslash, or it can just be blank. How many digits do you want? Let's say four. If you want to enter any suffix, you can enter that as well. You can set this as default and you can click on save. You have the option to save and close or save and send it directly to the contact or save and create. Save and create will create a new order directly after saving this. Under the more settings, you also have multi-currency options. So if you're creating an order in a different currency, you can click on multi-currency options and select a different currency. You can also specify the conversion rate. Let's click on save and close. Our order has now been saved. Now, after the order has been saved, you can choose either to convert it to bill or receive goods. Let's click on three dots. We have the option to receive goods. Let's click on that. You can choose the receipt date. You can choose the receipt quantity. So in case your order contains 10 items or more than that, you can receive them partially or you can receive them completely. You can specify the warehouse and click on receive. The status for the order now shows the goods have been received. The next step is you can convert it into a bill. In order to do that, let's click on bill. I've clicked on bill. This has been converted into a bill now. Let's go to the bill section. You will notice the order has now been converted to a bill. The status is good receipt. The linked order number is also shown over here. You can click on pay. 
and capture the payment that you have made to the supplier. Now there are multiple options over here. You can directly enter the payment details. You can select the bank or the cash or whatever payment method you're using. You need to select the payment type that can be check, bank transfer or card. You can key in the reference number. If you've made some advanced payments or if there are any debit notes that you want to adjust, you can adjust them as well. So all the advanced payments are listed over here. All the debit notes are also listed over here. You can adjust them simply by check marking one of these options and the remaining amount is auto captured over here. You can do the same for debit notes. Let's capture the payment for now. You can change the currency as well, the payment date. Let's click on next, click on pay. The payment has been made. You can take a printout of the payment or you can close this. Once the payment has been made, the bill moves to the archive section. This concludes the procurement cycle. To give you a quick recap, the procurement cycle starts with creation of purchase orders. Against the purchase orders, you can either receive goods or convert them to bills. You can receive goods either the complete quantity or you can receive them partially as well. Once the orders are converted into bills, you can mark them as paid by clicking on pay. Under the payment transaction, you can choose to enter the payment details or you can also choose to adjust it against the advances that you may have paid to the supplier or any debit notes. Once that is done, the bill finally moves to the archive section.